Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival Nomad Edition. And last episode, we finally got ourselves a spud gun. And this episode, I want to get myself a warehouse key by taking down a farm bot. But I don't just want to, I want to, I want to do this in a more interesting way than just shooting it a bunch of times with the spud gun and hoping it doesn't kill me before I kill it. So this vehicle is really the star of the Nomad series since this is my base. So I figured I should probably, <laughs> it, it, I might regret this decision because this is, this, this is my base, but I'm going to try to use my vehicle to help me kill the bot. The goal is, the strategy is going to be, I'm gonna make some drills or something like, yeah, I'll probably make some drills, put slap some drills onto the front of this thing, or maybe maybe one in the middle, two on the sides. And I'm gonna ram into the bot, hopefully ragdolling the bot, and then while he's ragdolled, I'm gonna hop out and shoot him a bunch of times until he gets back up, and then I'm gonna ram him again. That's gonna be the strategy. I'm only gonna shoot him with my spud gun when he gets ragdolled. Uh, now, how much does it cost to build a drill? Am I gonna... It, only 20 tier 2, so if I make one, two... Alright, so I think I might have enough to make three drills now, so let's make one, two... Look at that! Three drills! We're moving on up once again, level up! And the good thing about this is I may be able to repurpose these drills for actual mining. And speaking of mining... It's the reason why I'm kind of okay with putting my vehicle at risk here is because I am tempted at some point to try to add a refinery to this. I don't know how I'm going to fit it or where I'm going to put it, but it also needs to be within the crafting chain. I may have to rebuild most of the vehicle in order to accomplish that. But another thing I also want to do is I want to also eventually put multiple spud guns on this thing because I want to, after I repurpose the drills to actually be used for mining, then I still want to be able to kill the farm bots with my vehicle. So I want to put some multiple spud guns on this at some point. And uh, tonight is definitely going to be a night where I need to farm. To get multiple spud guns, I need bananas. To get banana seeds, which I don't have, I need 30 carrot crates. And to get 30 carrot crates, I need 30, not, not 30 carrot crates, 3 carrot crates, which equals 30 carrots. But uh, here, let's go ahead and make a carrot crate right now, because I do have 10 carrots in there. Do I have any in my inventory? <gasps> I, I can make... I already have uh, 20 carrots, actually. So let's move this back into the food container. Let's just get this going right at the start of the video. We have a decent amount of time. It is only 12.30 right now, so we still have about half the day before we have to worry about a farm. I'm gonna try another raidless farm tonight. And I think my drills are done, so I can slap those on the front. They're probably not going to be rotating drills. They're just gonna be there for durability and protection. And I'm sure we'll do some damage by ramming into them too. All right, there we go. We got two carrot crates and we're already like halfway to another carrot crate. So that's excellent. I'm also realizing I'm gonna need some food soon because I'm getting rid of all of the carrots that I planted for eating purposes. I didn't think I was gonna need carrots for anything else and I wanted those for food. All right, so I need one more carrot crate to get banana seeds. I have enough seeds for everything else. But yeah, multiple spud gun costs two banana crates and one blueberry crate. Oh, I need to get an ammo container too. Which means I need a beet crate and a tomato crate. I forgot I need an ammo container if I'm gonna use spud guns. So a beet crate and a tomato crate. Do I have enough for that right now? There's a tomato crate, there's a beet crate. Man, there goes all of my food. Ugh. Oh. And tonight, I need to focus on planting carrots. I'm gonna have a big farm tonight. I'm gonna take a risk tonight. Woo! It's really fun coming down from there. All right, there we go. One tomato crate, one beet crate coming up. Literally, coming up a very steep hill. All right. Tomatoes and beets, and now we can get ourselves an ammo container. Let's just go ahead and buy it so I don't accidentally waste that on anything else. So I'm gonna need some more carrots, so I think we're gonna plant a bunch of carrots, and I'm also gonna plant a bunch of blueberries, because we also need a bunch of blueberries for when we get the mountable spud gun. All right, so the first thing I gotta do after this harvest is go to the packing station. Pre I did not even see a hay bot, but apparently I just killed one. But anyway, like I was saying, I gotta go to the packing station pretty soon after this harvest, so I'm gonna choose a spot near the packing station. Let's go with this right here. It's already getting dark. We got like four minutes left. 
So, and because this is going to be a bigger farm, I'm going to do some pre, like, I'm going to, I'm going to start planting it a little, or planting it a little bit early. So this is all of the soil I have. So let's see how big of a farm I'm going to plant with this. All right, there we go. That's, uh, that's a decent size right there. I think that's pretty good. I didn't even count how many plots it actually was. All right, we are all watered up and we now got about a minute left. I'll go ahead and grab my beacon. We can put the beacon down here. Another thing is that uh, I got a lot of comments asking me to put these awnings on a bearing so they actually come down when I'm not like parked or anything. And I think that's a good idea. Uh, I need to see what does it take to make a sensor, but you know what? Let's pay attention because I've well, got 10 seconds left. Uh, sensor, sensor, sensor. There we go. All right, I need some glue to make the sensor because I might be able to sense when I'm in the seat. And then when I get in the seat, it'll put them down. That way when we're driving. Oh, there we go. Time to plant. Time to plant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good. One and two. I'll just put as many blueberries down as I can. Hopefully, I can put all twenty down. Oh yeah, wow, that went actually really quick. One, two, three, four, five, da, 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 da. I'm. I need one more seed. One. One more seed. I'm gonna do a carrot seed. I think I have enough. Yep. There we go. All right, so we can come back here in 21 minutes and I should be able to pick all of this up. Did I miss any spots? Nope. I should be able to pick all of this up before uh, the raid comes. All right, well, I'm out of the water, so let me get some glue so I can make that sensor. I'll at least have one sensor on me. I feel like I'm going to run out of materials pretty soon at the rate that I was just crafting some tier two metal for the drills and stuff. There we go. Sensor is in production. And what does it take to make a controller? Because I'm, I'm gonna need another controller for this. More glue, of course! Well, this will be an opportunity to also get some oil anyway, because I have actually been running low on uh, oil reserves. Or fuel reserves, rather. I had a decent amount of fuel saved up from just looting, but uh, the heavier this vehicle gets, the more fuel consumption it ends up taking. All right, I had a good day of getting some oil and clam. As uh, you can clearly see, I'm just gonna put all of the clam in here and the oil so i should be able to get myself some more fuel and glue all right i got my three drills now um do i have a center point i don't really have a center point is this gonna block the lights well it's a little frustrating but i feel like that's gonna protect me a decent amount how much the durability of the drill seven out of ten what is the durability of these girder pieces here six out of ten so i think between the drill and the girder pieces I have a good chance of not sustaining damage if me and the farm bot have this epic head-on run into each other because the farm bot likes to do a charging attack once he gets close to you, which does some damage. But I'm hoping that this is actually going to be a protective layer. Okay, so now while this is still crafting some more of that stuff, do I have enough to make... Uh, I need another controller. I guess I'll craft another engine. Oh, the engine actually requires oil, so I'm going to add another engine to that just for uh, drill purposes. Um, I don't know. I don't know if that was a good idea. I wish I could undo, but who knows? We might need another engine at some point later anyway. Oh, I need glue for... I only... There's no way that I only have five circuit boards. How do I only have five circuit boards? Oh, that's why. Yeah, this stuff requires a lot of circuit boards. Okay, that explains it. Excuse you, those are mine. No, get out of there. Don't eat my crops. Thank you. All right, now let's figure out these awnings. All right, I need to figure out how these awnings actually work. Am I able to attach? Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. I can't attach right here. That means I can't put a bearing on the side of this awning. You can only attach to the back. So then that means, actually, uh, I'm going to have to create a beam like this. And then this beam is going to have to come around to the side. And then that that's where it's going to have to rotate from, I guess. Well, this is definitely a bit inconvenient, isn't it? Because I can't have it rotate from this axis. It's going to have to rotate from an axis behind, meaning these are actually going to stick out a lot more than I wanted them to. But I might be able to make this work still. All right, I think this could work. So this will be the closed position like that, which is actually pretty cool. And then the open position would be 90 degrees in this direction. And it would look like that. So I would have to fill in, definitely fill in some of that wood. All right, for now, I'm just going to use a button hooked into the controller. So now when I press the button, let me turn it on a little bit faster, as fast as I can go right now. There we go. Let's put that down, just see how it looks real quick. 
That looks pretty good. All right, let's uh, let's pick up our harvest. Everything seems to be sprouting pretty well. Oh, you know what? Here's what I can do. Rather than using my uh, buckets to make these sprouts, I can just use the time that it's taking uh, to pick up the soil while I wait for the other ones to sprout. And then if I need my buckets, I can just use them um, if I have all the soil picked up. So I think that's gonna be a more efficient use of time. All right. And then we got the last two. They really did not want to sprout these last two. But don't worry, we got them. And how much time we got left? 50 seconds, a minute left. So that definitely takes a lot more uh, time. So we are cutting it closer, but I think we are okay. So now uh, let's get out of here. We got 30 seconds left. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do that. I forgot to wait for the raid last time because I think it's a good idea to wait for the raid to spawn in and then leave before they notice that I'm here. Because otherwise, I think when I get back to the spot, it'll spawn the raid in if I wasn't here in their spawning radius when the timer ran out. Oh, they're right in front of me. Okay. All right, let's go. We're out of here. There's four haybots. Ooh, that would have been a rough one. They would have gotten all my crops if I didn't have any defenses. So that's why we're a nomad. So we can, you know, not have to worry about that stuff. Oh yeah, the packing station. Now I got some, uh, I got some packages to make. All right, so there's the carrots. We also need blueberries, which is at the other packing station. And there is number two, all right. All right, now time to head to the trader and we can buy ourselves some banana seeds for our next farm. And then in the meantime, I think I'm gonna search for this day. I'm gonna use this day to actually search for a farm bot to take on. All right, we made it. No problems on the way. All right, let's get ourselves some uh, banana seeds. There we go. And we already have enough for two mountable spud guns. And I think two is gonna be what I shoot for, which means I'm gonna need 40 bananas. You have any idea how long it's gonna take to get from five banana seeds to 40 bananas? Well, at least I'll probably get a whole bunch of other food in the process. All right, let's go find ourselves a farm bot. It's time. Oh, I see one. Oh. Oh, this is it. This is it. This is it right now. All right, so I got to play this very carefully. I'm noticing there's a hill here. The farm bot's over there. I should be uphill from him. And I think I'm going to uh, aggro him with the spud gun from a distance. So he starts coming after me out of the wooded area. And then I can charge him and hope for the best. I He better not. You know what? I'm, I'm going to do a precautionary thing here. I'm gonna move all of these drills up by a block because I don't want him to step up on these drills and get on top of me. There we go. He should be much less likely to step up on top with the drills up there. I have 150 spuds on me, so it should be more than enough. There he is. All right, this is it. I'm doing it right here. There he comes. There he comes. We've done it. We've done it. <laughs> all right, let's back up so we can get some speed. Does he even know where I am? I don't know if he knows where I am right now. Hey, I'm over here. Okay, all right, here he comes. What, he's going after a cow? Are you serious right now? I got a greenie after me too. He just killed the cow. And now he's kind of going away. Hold on, this greenie's now, he's got behind me. Hold on a second. I'm getting, I get distractions I don't want right now. I am so confused why this, like these guys is not, he's not doing it right. He doesn't know what the threat is because I'm too far. Okay, now he knows, now he knows where I am, right? Get in the road. This is an interestingly effective method here. All right, here we go, here we go. We're doing the ram now. Yes. Okay, okay, back up, back up, back up, back up before he gets up, before he gets up. Yes, that worked so well. Is he gonna keep coming after me? All right, good, good, good. He's right where I want him. Right where I want him. Yes! Okay, all right, before he gets back up, before he gets back up. This is working, this is working exactly as intended. Okay, here we go. Yes. I did it. 
took no damage. That was beautiful. That worked absolutely beautifully. Two component kits and a handy dandy warehouse key. Wow. I was not expecting that to go that smoothly. We've had a good handful of episodes here. All right, well, we still got some daylight left. Now what I want to do is try to uh, modify this awning system to be able to go up and down automatically, depending on whether I'm driving or not driving. I think that would be pretty cool. All right, this seems like a good enough spot. I mean, anywhere near the water really is pretty much. So uh, let's do some testing with the sensor, the good old sensor. All right, I'm trying to find a spot. Like the, the sensor definitely detects the seat right here. And I'm trying to find a, a spot where it detects not the seat, but will detect me. So that doesn't seem to detect me. What if I go three? Ah, there we go. That should work. It's a little bit inconvenient having it right there because that gets rid of my ability to smoothly walk behind the seat. But that seems to be the only place I can really do it. I need to make a logic gate. All right, there we go. So now when we are parked like this, you can see that that goes up. And then once I get in the seat, you can see that it goes back down. So now we're going to have our own taco stand, but for crafting. And let me give this guy some corn while he's waiting here. And I'm going to start building the farm now because we have a lot of soil to put down. And two minutes to do it. Oh boy. I definitely waited. I think I, I think I waited too long to use as many plots as I did last time. I don't know. I'll just use as much as I can. I'll, I'm going to try it. Let's go for it. Take a risk. All right, banana. There's all my banana. And then the rest is just going to be potatoes. All right, there we go. We're all planted up again. Let me go ahead and place the beacon down. We now have another farm spot right here. This is going really, really well today. Assuming I remember to pick all that up in time. All right, so while this farm is going, I'm going to head back to the uh, mechanic station because I need to see how much a refine bot costs because I want to work towards, I think after maybe I get the mountable spud guns, I want to work towards getting a refine bot somehow because if I'm going to start getting some good metal supplies, we're really going to have to start um, mining and it's going to be a big waste of time to mine and refine every individual piece. But also, I'm going to need a mining vehicle. Like, I feel like this stuff is kind of far away. Here we are. We're back at the mechanic station. Oh, I could just barely fit. I never actually drove this vehicle in here. I can barely fit under that garage door. All right. How much does a refine bot cost? That's not 60 metal five circuit boards and five component kits. I think the only thing I don't have is the metal. Let's see, I have 18 metal. All right, I have a weird idea. I'm gonna upgrade this controller. And it's funny, I'm kind of taking the nomad approach with my vehicle as well. Things aren't staying in one spot when it comes to these drills, but I think uh, there is a rock node over here, or there are some rock nodes over here somewhere. There we go, there's one right here. How much do I have to upgrade this controller? More than that. Man, it's so expensive. All right, there we go. This is supposed to work, right? Yep, there we go. Ooh, our first mining, we're doing it. Look at this, this is actually working pretty well. All right, so what about the ones on the ground now? Can I push my way through these? Hmm, those ones, no, oh, yeah, I can. It's all right. See, I don't have a resource collector, so I'm gonna have to do all of these manually. And you know what? I feel like I'm actually happy with what I've done so far. So let's back up. And this is gonna be time consuming, but I'm gonna focus on the metal. All right, I finally have enough metal to get an actual refine bot. Let's just leave that stuff there and let's get the refine bot. I don't have any more circuit boards. I need circuit boards now. Of all things to be low on, it's the circuit board. Wow. All right, maybe this guy will drop me some. I need five circuit boards, right? Come on, give me a circuit board. It's hard to be disappointed with a component kit, but I actually kind of am. All right, come on. It's going to get dark soon, and I got to get back in like three minutes. Just give me a circuit board. Just give me a greenie. Is there one circuit board in here? I do have one. There it is. Okay, good. We got it. Okay, now I can make myself a refine bot. I am probably not gonna take this with me yet. I think I might, wait, can I, I'm gonna catch it on top. 
Yeah, I'm probably not gonna be able to take this with me yet. That's actually not that big. What if I do have it on top? I don't know how I'm gonna do this yet. But my main thing is I just wanted to see how big it feels compared to my vehicle. And yeah, definitely it's, it's, a, it's a doozy. Can I fit it? If I get rid of all this, do you think I can even fit it in here? Or how big is it on like the side of my vehicle? It's not that, it's not as big as I thought it was gonna be. How much time do I have? I gotta go. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go. Ah, oh, my hammer won't stop swinging. Okay, there we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. We gotta go to the farm. The farm's actually a bit of a ways away. Oh no, I can't get through now because of the uh, refine bot. All right, so that may not be a good idea, but when do I ever really need to drive my vehicle in there? I can't believe I'm taking a refine bot with me now. This is insanity. I feel noticeably slower now. I am probably gonna use so much more fuel. All right, how much time we got left? Oh, I'm late. I am very, very late. I may have made a terrible mistake. I need the bananas. Bananas are priority. You know what? No, I may be able to, I'll, I'll still probably be able to harvest them. I just may not have time to pick up all the soil, but I definitely did not manage my time effectively. Okay, man, this refine bot may have been a mistake. I shouldn't have taken it with me. I don't know why I'm taking it with me when I can't use it yet. I should have just left it back there. Ugh. Just plowed through those guys. Oh no. The timer keeps ticking down. All right, I'm almost there. Finally, I'm almost there. All right, I got a minute and a half to get all this stuff out of here. Do I even have enough inventory space? Yeah, I do. Do I have something coming after me? Uh, yeah, never mind about them. Let's just get through here. All right, we got all that. So he's not chasing me anymore. All right, a minute and a half to get all this stuff. I wonder how big this raid's gonna be. I think potatoes are worth more than normal crops. Okay, I really cut this one close, didn't I? 20 seconds, 20 seconds left after all that. Let's get a visual on the raid, see how big it seems. Oh, oh, no, 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 don't come after me. All right, it actually doesn't seem that big of a deal. Oh no, there's the other hay bots. Yeah, whoa, that's a lot of hay bots. Why are they all grouping up right there? I'm tempted to run into them. This might be a mistake. I'm really, they're all just like asking for it. Oh, it was a mistake. It was a mistake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't come after me. Don't come after me. We're good. We're good, right? We're all good. Everyone good? All right, let's just, uh, let's get out of here. Let's, uh, let's get, no, 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 let's do it again. Let's do it again. We don't need to get out of here. We can do that again. All right, turn the drills on. Not like it's really gonna make a difference. All right, and... There's one left. Part of the reason I'm doing this is because I kind of want their spines. Wait, are you guys all going to that same spot? I don't know what it is with that spot right there, but they are welcome to group up. Oh, I missed them. Uh, I'm gonna back into this one. Oh, well that got him. All right, and then I can get uh, circuit boards from these guys because I was running low on circuit boards anyway. All right, I actually kind of took on the raid. I mean, I literally took on the raid, but obviously it wasn't in the normal raid fashion where you're just waiting for them to come to you. We're do we did it the nomad style. I've actually been becoming increasingly fond of the nomad lifestyle in this playthrough. It started off really inconvenient, but it's starting to grow on me. All right, let's head back to the mechanic station and prepare ourselves to get a resource collector as well. How are we doing on fuel, by the way, driving all this way? Fuel is a guzzling. Where I haven't found an oil pond yet. I don't know where oil is. What's the deal with that? All right, here is our good old resource collector. So I think we're gonna use this to try to finish off. I don't know how I'm gonna situate this though. I might have to uh, unpack my entire back section and repack and reorganize this to try, just to try to figure out how I can fit my resource collector and my refine bot in here. But for now, I'm gonna slap the resource collector just right here. All right, let's do a test real quick. All right, yeah, it definitely works. The only thing is the refine bot 
needs to be closer. What if it is right there? Oh no. Oh, okay, that does work. All right, well, that's what we're doing in this immediate moment, just so I can get the rest of this material here. I can't, I was not planning on mining in this episode. I can't believe I'm actually mining with in this episode with a refine bot and a, uh, a resource collector on my vehicle. It is definitely, this is not the final form, that's for sure. All right, is our chest done? Our chest is finally done. Now we're just gonna slap that on there as well. Oh, hold on. All right, now we can get some constant uh, refining going as we pick this stuff up. Look at that. This is the least fuel efficient mining vehicle I could have imagined. All right, and by the looks of it, I have successfully mined that entire node. Oh, there's actually, I see a metal rod over here that I left behind somehow. So yeah, I think in the next episode, I'm really motivated right now to, we're gonna be doing a complete gutting and rebuilding of the inside of this vehicle. I'm hoping I can come up with a new system for this uh, crafting chain. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and click something on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.